Hey, what's up? Welcome to another Pong Professor review. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Tipar Benadet Soch Signature One Blade, which is a seven ply all wood blade. I'm really excited to test this blade because I've been using the Tipar Samsonov Force Pro Black Edition as my main competition blade for the past couple of years. The ply composition of the Soch one is very similar to the Samsonov blade, except that the penultimate ply is 20 to 30% thinner. Overall, the blade is 6.5 millimeters thick. It's a well-balanced blade that is very comfortable to hold. Okay, let's see how this blade plays. I tested the blade using a 40 degree Hurricane 3 orange sponge rubber in my forehand and Spinlord Varan 2 short pips in my backhand. The Soch one produces an awesome crisp feeling on backhand drives with the short pips. The blade feels slightly thinner and softer than the Samsonov blade, but it's still quite fast. Given its off-level speed, the blade offers outstanding consistency. The blade also produces a crisp feeling on forehand drives, but it isn't as stiff as the Samsonov blade. It's slightly slower, but also slightly more flexible. I enjoyed excellent control on my forehand drives with this blade. The blade's crisp feeling is also clearly felt on forehand blocks, which are fast, yet very controlled. I also love how the blade feels on backhand blocks. I don't know if it's the minimally slower speed, the slightly less stiff nature, or the slightly higher throw angle relative to the Samsonov blade, but I enjoyed significantly improved consistency on backhand blocks. The blade's head tilted center of gravity, its flexibility, and the relatively soft nature of its outer ply, resulting in an extended dwell time, a higher ball trajectory, and more safety over the net, along with greater spin generation, Render it a top blade for topspin players. Although the Sarge 1 is slightly slower than the Samsonov blade, it's still plenty fast to be effective in forehand to forehand topspin rallies. Its medium high throw angle gives you the safety that you need over the net to land the shots. I've found the Sarge one to be highly effective in forehand loops, either by placing my third ball attack in hard to reach places or by following up with a fast fifth ball attack. Some players will probably find the blade to be a little bit too slow on third ball attacks as it is hard to generate outright winners from, from that position. However, what won me many points is the blade's excellent consistency, and in the end, I think that matters more. Good. 
I made very similar observations on third ball attacks using my backhand and the short pips. I could either place the third ball attack in a hard to reach place or follow it up with a fifth ball, a seventh ball attack and put my opponent under tremendous pressure. The Sarge one behaves very predictably on pushes. Long pushes can be played deep with a high amount of backspin and excellent control of placement. The blade's balance and soft feeling gave me greater than usual confidence in my abilities, allowing me to play pushes with surgical precision. As you can also see from this footage, the blade gave me the confidence to play very aggressive blocks and counter drives and even chop blocks. The only time I had any problems during the receiving was if I hit the push too close to the handle, in which case the ball flew long. The slightly longer dwell time of the blade allowed me to get good contact when doing backhand pushes with the short hips which in turn rendered it challenging for my opponent to loop very fast against them. Often the loops were relatively soft and high, which allowed me to come in with an aggressive counter drive on those loops. The backhand flick is one of my weaker strokes. I was therefore pleasantly surprised to see that the Sox 1 gave me excellent consistency on these types of shots, irrespective of whether it was regular backhand flicks, banana flicks or strawberry type flicks. I attribute this to the blade's somewhat moderate speed and uh, extended dwell time which gave me good contact with the ball to curve it over the net. Even forehand flicks, which definitely are my weakest shot type, I was able to play with the Sox 1. The shots aren't lightning fast, but they are very consistent and can be coupled with good placement of the ball, putting the opponent under pressure. Throughout all of these drills, I enjoyed the feeling that the Sox 1 gave me when serving. I felt like I was really able to impart a lot of spin on the serves and place them where I want to. To give you an idea how the control of the Sarge 1 blade is, here are a couple of shots of me chopping and I'm by no means a, a chopper. Let's keep in mind this is a 7-ply blade that can be used for offensive strategies, yet it has enough control to allow me to backhand chop with the short pips in a reasonably consistent manner.
As you probably have gathered, I'm very impressed with the Tipar Bernadette Soch Signature 1 blade. More than any other 7-ply blade that I have tried, the Soch blade strikes the right balance between power, subtle stiffness, catapult effect and dwell time to allow for powerful and controlled looping, a precise short game and high consistency when blocking. In other words, it's 7-ply speed with 5-ply control. In my opinion, a wide range of players will enjoy playing with this blade, ranging from intermediate players all the way up to professional players. The blade might lack a couple of percent in raw power to become a blade of choice for flat hitters, but for those playing primarily close to the table or from mid-distance using loops, this is a great blade that I highly recommend. Here I compare the Tip Harsaj Signature 1 with four other 7-ply blades, those being the legendary Stiga Clipper, the Stiga Rosewood NCT7, my usual blade, the Samsonov Force Pro Black Edition, and the Yasaka Extra Special. Among these five, the Soch one is the slowest one, but only marginally so. However, it offers the highest level of control. It also has the lowest amount of stiffness along with the softest surface plot. These characteristics render the Soch one the best of the bunch for looping in my opinion, which is why I'm giving it a score of 9.5. It still retains outstanding ability for blocking, where I also rate it among uh, the highest of the bunch with a score of 9.5. I have given the Soch 1 a score of 8.5 in the smashing category. Obviously there are faster blades out there that can result in more deadly smashes, which is why it scores as it does. I'm very impressed how well the Soch 1 behaves on flicks which is why I've given it a score of 9.5. It is also an excellent blade both for short and long pushes, which is why I'm giving it a score of 9.0 in that category. Lastly, I have given the blade a score of 9.5 in the serving category. Its extended dwell time really allowed me to impart a lot of spin on the ball when serving. So there you have it, the Tipar Soch Signature 1, an awesome blade. For more details, make sure to read my full written review which is available from tabletennis11.com. The link is in the video description. Lastly, please give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to this channel. See you next time.